I beg your pardon. Bloody hell! <laughs> I think I made this a bit salt. <laughs> what are you all dolled up for? I'm going out to you. I need me tram fare and a bit of money to play with. Oh, you do, do you? <laughs> Forget all about that, dear. Now we've got. To... Same in my case. The main feature starts in oh, 15 minutes. But I'll be just as happy. I am going to fight this thing with the most powerful technological weapon available in the world, and I. An H bomb. <laughs> right. Where's me lunch? In your bag. Right. Where's me bag? On the table. Oh. Good morning. And what would you like for lunch? I'll just have some juice, thanks. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Come on, dear. I haven't got all day. How do you want your eggs? Oh, uh, you startled me. Yeah, well, that, that's, that's mutual. Who are you? Mrs. Garvey. I suppose you're Mr. Taylor. Oh, yeah, that's right. How do you do? Well, you've got a lovely home and a lovely wife and a daughter to go with it. Oh, thank you very much. Many a bachelor would gladly give up his night on the tiles to have half of what you've got, if you take my point. Yeah, well... Darling, I didn't realise you were home. You've met Mrs. Garvey? Introduce myself. No use standing on ceremony, is there? <laughs> I'll just check on the veggies. And what about your mother, Valerie? How's she getting along? Oh, that's good. I was worried about her, you know. Give her my love. Oh, yes, they're lovely people to work for. Couldn't be nicer. Anyway, Valerie, I'd better go. Been lovely talking to you. Bye, dear. Oh, hello, Mrs. Taylor. Here, let me take all that. No, it's all right. I haven't got far to go No, now. no, no, let me. That's what I'm being paid for. I'll just get rid of these and then I'll make you a nice cup of tea. Oh, it's all right. I don't really feel like one, thank oh, you. Oh, I'm sure you do, dear, after a hard day shopping. Now, you just leave everything to me. Uh, well, I... Sp all right. <laughs> oh, by the way, I've just had a lovely chat to Valerie on the phone. Her mother's doing very well. Oh, that's good. Mind you, I wouldn't want you to think I've been on the phone all day. <laughs> oh, no. I've been hard at work. I gave Gail's room a good going over. Really straightened it out. Girl's room? Yes. Oh, it's a lovely room, too, but it was a little disorganised, if you take my point. But I've got it looking really spick and span now. Uh, Mrs Garvey, actually, Gail prefers to look after her own room. She's a bit possessive about it. It doesn't like her things being touched. Oh, dear. Oh, I didn't do all that much. Just straightened it out a bit. Surely she won't mind. No, it'll be all right, but I think in future it might be best if you left it. Yes, of course, Mrs Taylor. You know... I took a liking to Gail as soon as we met. I'm just going to have to stay very late one day so that I can meet her again. I'm sure we can become great friends, Gail and me. Turn that back on again or you'll end up with a thick ear. I beg your pardon? I've tried every way I know to be friends with you, young lady. I figured there were two such nice parents, there must be some good in you somewhere. I've gone out of my way to be friendly. I even bought you a birthday present that I could ill afford. And what you reacted to is if I'd given you a dead cockroach. I'm trying to study... And I've come to the conclusion that you're nothing but a spoiled, willful, ungrateful, self-opinionated, trouble-making pain in the neck. I'm ringing my father. Good, you ring him, because I'm going to tell him I resign. Well, if you apologise, I might reconsider. <sighs> I'd better be getting on with those veggies. happen these days, George. Oh, no, no, not these days. You see, the new style blankets have got control knobs. <laughs> control knobs? Yes. One for the husband and one for the wife. Oh, it'd, it'd take more than a knob to control me and me. <laughs> <laughs> to your wife. Au revoir. Pardon, pardon. I wish to see the doctor. Yeah, monsieur le doctor is very busy at the moment. But I cannot wait. We're expecting the baby. It is due. Certainly. Any time now, the baby. Doctor, monsieur le doctor, oh, come yes. quick. There is a woman here expecting a baby. Is she an appointment? Oh, come quick, too sweet. I am using Honorable Phone on behalf of Honorable Dr. Yen Casey who wishes to inform your honourable self that your honourable wife 
has just given birth to five oriental type babies? Ah, so? Sally? Wrong number. Ah, so? Ah, so? Help. Help. Dr. Yen, come quick. Sir Benjamin asked me to call and congratulate you on that splendid appendectomy you did this morning. Sir Benjamin said he has never seen such fine work. Yes, it was a pity about the patient. Still, he was getting on in years. Goodbye, Sir Giles. Graham! Graham Kent! Oh, it is you, isn't yes. it? Oh, I can hardly believe my eyes. I can't. Look, when I tell my husband I've met you, oh, honestly, right. look, we're the greatest fans of IMT. We've never missed a performance. That's very As nice. As a matter of fact, IMT entirely affects our lives. Yes, well, look, I'm well, so... You know, I've bought every product you've ever advertised. Oh, that's, that's, that's and, oh, very kind. Don't laugh when I tell you this, but my dog's named Graham. I've got a cat called Cyril. And that canary called Kennedy. <laughs> I don't think my husband has a desk just like yours. Oh, right. And photographs of you, honestly, Graham, I've got hundreds of them. Oh, well, that's very nice. Truly, you can say this, Graham, IMT has affected our entire lives. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. <laughs> Oh, he wouldn't have gone out there. Oh, he's been such a naughty boy lately. Baba! 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 Mama! <laughs> Sit down, darling. Baba. Sit down, Mummy. Come on. Move the little chair. Oh. Baba! Move the chairs in. Help Mummy, sweetheart. Please, darling. Please, darling. <laughs> Come on, for Mama, Baba. Please, darling, gay gay. Please, darling, gay gay. Come on. Oh, there. Baba. 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 Good Baba. Baba got to eat his breakfast now. Baba. Baba. Look, Baba. Look, Baba. Look, that's for you. You eat it all up for Mummy, won't you? You be a good boy. Baba. Now. Baba. Whose little poon is that? Gay gays. <laughs> and whose little ball is that? Gay gays. And whose little porridge is that? Mama's. <laughs> Baba to do that to Mama. A naughty Baba. Baba. Mama Mac. Mama. Mama Mac. Mama Mac. <laughs> Mama Mac. No, 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 Baba. Be good, Baba, for Mama, eh? <laughs> naughty boy. Baba. Naughty Baba. Baba. Oh, Mama's Baba. <laughs> Baba. You naughty boy. Oh, you're a bad fella. <laughs> now, stop at once. Ba, 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 Mummy, ba. I'll tell Daddy. Daddy? Uh, Daddy, yes. <laughs> Mama, where's Daddy? Why don't we ever see Daddy? He's, <laughs> He's at the meatworks now. Ah, Baba. <laughs> it's meatworks. <laughs> Baba, listen. Oh, listen. Baba. Baba. Listen to Mummy Gay Gay. <laughs> now, what does the man say at Luna Park? You swallowed that, Baba? <laughs> The 
big train coming to the tunnel. <laughs> When Mummy stamps on the kitchen diner! <laughs> oh, good Bubba! Good little Bubba for Mummy. Oh, Mummy, look what Bubba did. Naughty Bubba. Now, think of milk. Think of milk. Dig it all up for Mama, won't you? That's a good boy. Gag, <laughs> 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 <laughs>